Hello and welcome to Dale's Gaming and this is From the Depths where it's a, another little British Royal Navy fleet review in preparation for an adventure and in this episode we have got the HMS Amazon or my depiction of it um, we'll go through the normal process of a little bit of history um, the, my little intro, a, a bit of a walk around and then some uh, combat testing for this sh ship um, based upon what I've basically aimed it to be good against. So, first of all, as always, um, I'm not using Mimics, this is all just using standard blocks. There's no, nothing fancy on here, so it's, it's all easily made in the, in the campaign or designer for whatever you're doing this ship has been designed for adventure mode but we'll go through all of those bits in a short while so the hms amazon um, was actually a design ship by thornycroft um, in 1924 admiralty put up a design requirement for a new destroyers to replace their um, World War One designs and Thornycroft uh, and Yarrow both came up with a design that the um, Thornycroft was the Am Amazon and the uh, Yarrow was going to be named the Amb Ambuscade and basically they were guns initially were fitted out similar to the the proper or the original I think it was a W class World War One they had a 4.7 uh, sorry, four 4.7 inch guns, um, then they had a, a couple of two pounders uh, for anti-aircraft work and six torpedo tubes in two triple launchers. Both designs were very similar with some slight differences between each of the models um, they were capable um, I, Am HMS Amazon in its speed run did actually manage 37 knots although the average the more common speed was 34 35 with a deep load um, and fully equipped etc um, these were used uh, during the war they were refitted and used in the war uh, specific a uh, lot for um, escorts and the amazon itself was um, ended up being fitted uh, with multiple different variations of the current gun system adding a lot of 20 mils because of the increased AA threat or air threat compared to when they're designed in 1924 in the 1940s it was given multiple 20s um, there were some heavier guns um, AA guns to replace some of the torpedo tubes um, and yeah so it advanced quite a bit and ultimately it spent a lot of its time um, escorting convoys in the Atlantic up into Russia and also into the Mediterranean where it was part of the operations um, giving uh, sorry supplying Malta um, and I think it did end up on a, a stamp actually in, in uh, Malta in celebration of its um, efforts in, in supplying Malta during the war um yeah did survive the war but was eventually um used as a target and then scrapped in about 1948 so that's a quick little overview of the ship um now for a little walk around the ship so out on the front um there is a few changes compared to what i've got compared to um, normal but we have got these uh, 120 mil uh, guns here which are firing a um i should say first of all a very this is very aa focused after the adventure mode um i found i was lacking against aa against aircraft and some of the more light um, light alloy based flying vehicles so i have made this a very aa heavy um ship so these 120 mils have a if i go into here have a ap and solid to be able to get through a bit of wood and a little bit of light arm alloy 
it's not massive but it's enough just to do a reasonable amount of damage then it has a he but mainly importantly it has a flak so it's got a nice little flak and some frags with um the timed um element timed fuse element fuse must remember to use the right words fuse um, and the each of the guns in the pairs we've got two on the front and two on the rear and one gun is set to fire just after the range and one is set to fire just before the range hopefully we can straddle it then at the wings we've got uh, the 20 mils up there um that's just a place where we've got a controller. We'll go downstairs in a minute. Um, let's see, I have more 20 mils in the center between the funnels here. And then we've got a, a quad pom-pom. Uh, now, the real one had two singles, but what I've done to get that extra um, ability, a shotgun effect, I put a quad. It's got a higher fire rate, about 400 rounds per minute, and not a great accuracy. It's designed just to throw lots of HE um, into an area. And then we've got more 20 mils, some anti-missile systems. Then we've got the torpedo. So it's got two triple launchers, and this is its main anti-ship um, weaponry on here that's its, its main way of attacking anti-ships uh, a couple of 30 mils and a, and a uh, up there just to add some machine guns and then around the back we have got another set of 4.7 120 mil guns more anti-missile systems just there um other little bit is i have on this one um i think i did show it in the adventure but i i have um modified the 20 mils here they weren't having any effect whatsoever against the alloy armed ships they they the vehicles they were taking out some of the surface bits but it wasn't doing enough so what i have done is we've still got the ap solid and that is needed to give it speed and range um but now i've put shape charged he um secondary charge a heat warhead basically as a secondary part of it um, with enough penetration to go through uh where are we the penetration really to go through some light alloy and do some damage to the inside so hopefully once it starts targeting on a uh, a vessel it will start to sort of focus down on the internals to start damaging it so we have got a way of getting down we have down here a um uh teleport device so we can get onto this now let's see if i can get in, in here is the ai can't unfortunately get into there because of that ladder and the and the teleport device there which is a bit annoying around the back we've got the um this is the secondary boiler room we've got two boiler rooms with some more storage here uh plenty of control roll control then we've got um what would be i suppose it'd be sort of like the cargo area um we've got some anti uh, that's a detector we got, have got some anti torpedo on here then at the back we do have the um, turbines to produce battery because this is a battery powered basically uh, can't unfortunately get any further backwards than this one bit on here is we have got some controls here for the um, turbines so one set of turbines only comes up when the battery is low and the other set will um, basically turn on off however you want to class it um, when the battery is almost full so this is just a basically it bounces the battery near full and just cuts down the amount of or makes it more efficient um, basically with some of them always running at full power uh, okay that's about it um we'll just have a quick look at the ai so if i bring that up here um so basic it's only got one particular attack profile on here try and take head around to the 1500 meters um and getting into a broadside it will slowly from about 1800 meters start closing in 
which it's um, I think it's torpedo range is about 1800 2000 meters so basically for ships it will start hitting there and the 2000s also good for the two pounder um, yeah so that's the basic ship let's see if I can get up this ladder sometimes it can be a problem come on get me get me up that ladder okay try that again there we go right I've got in can be a bit problematic that particular one but never mind so let's just go on the outside bear with me one second there we go right so hopefully the shape is roughly fitting the, the uh, pictures we got um, main focus was the the, the uh, funnels the forecastle um, and the the main gun layout um, some of the other bits were basically fitted in rather than anything else um, okay now we'll just give it a go against some enemies so let me just bring in some um, example enemies uh, which it was designed for basically flyers so one of the protagonists in the adventure mode was the hake squadron so i have just spawned that in so they are basically fairly agile um missile firing uh they go a bit uh, well they don't play too well unfortunately for whatever reason <laughs> uh, so the weapons we got the flak hopefully will we just get into the area and then when the 20 mil if it can home in on the on it will hopefully do some damage on the inside it's been doing okay against these these are quite small agile aircraft as you can see when they get hit like that one has they start going a bit erratic but that's where the flak does help uh, to take them out a little bit because uh, it does make them go this erratic move then it's just a matter of time the main thing is you've stopped them initially let's just see this one Okay, hit that flak. He's getting close. It's already it looked like it took out some of the uh, blocks, control blocks on the back. What's it firing at next? Have to work out what it's still firing at. So, oh, we'll have a look. We'll have a look. Oop. We'll have a look from the aircraft itself. It's got some anti-missiles, which is also good for defending it. It's, it's taken out some more of those hakes. How many have we got left? So we've got two left. So it's doing the job, taking out the hakes as requested, shall we say. Um, these are erratic little flyers, you know. Um, so it's never going to be ideal but if they do go straight and level the 20 mil does tend to home in and that flak seems to have a, a reasonable effect at making them go a bit wonky in the first place so okay that's sort of working let's try a, a ship so as a test i brought in a steel striders um again a resolute um another adventure ship that we're likely to meet it is armed has got torpedoes um is almost a similar ship to ourselves so um it's done to be yeah it's sort of like an interesting comparison So we've got the APS battle at first. So these APS guns being timed, it looks like, uh, I'm not sure if he's got the same, but let's go and have a look. Um, being timed, we're gonna not be doing quite as much damage as uh, a dedicated AP round um, with these 4.7 inches, but they should be just taking off some surface bits and basically yeah they'll be start damaging 
equipment we can see some blocks coming off there quite nicely which is always good to see um, he's fired his torpedoes how far away am I I think I'm close to firing my torpedo so we'll see if our anti-torpedo systems will react to this I'm assuming they're coming in for us um, Yep, our anti-torpedoes are farming and we fired our own torpedoes out. As with all things, just the last little change to a couple of things. Not all the torpedoes are firing. Everything is firing now, so we get a nice torpedo launch out against the uh, uh, Resolute. Uh, which should go in nicely. Those torpedoes are my main anti-ship um, and they do a pretty good job at working their way through a, a enemy ship should see them start coming in there we go nice hits bish bash bosh nice So overall, yep, that's holding itself up against a target which is, should we say, of equal? It's, it's a little bit less points, but mostly slightly higher focused on weaponry. Uh, my total firepower, just to go through, this is a 75k ship. Uh, blocks, 2,000 blocks, so it's nothing massive. 46... Um, total firepower over 75 to 46 I'm happy with that that's quite a high firepower some of that is because of the missiles it's got rather than the APS guns um, so a lot of that is defensive um, has a cruise speed around 12 but uh, a top speed that's a little high that 36 I think it's more about where is it now at the moment 34 I think is about the the maximum I could assume to get from this um, but anyway, yeah, so effective against ships, um, it, it will go out to about, this will be an escort, or sorry, fleet defender, so it will attack anything that gets within three and a half thousand metres, and will prioritise aircraft over um, ships in general, but uh, it's, it's, it's more a matter of whatever is close it will go for and that's taken the resolute out so this is um, for adventure mode um, link to it in the steam workshop will be down below um, and I'm um, you will see in the adventure mode hopefully um, fighting against some of the enemies it's been designed to work against basically so any comments please leave them down below as always and if you've got any other ideas for ships where well, i've got a couple more built for this level um, and then i will be thinking about the next generation of royal mail uh, royal mail royal navy ships so uh looking at more mid end of world war ii style of ships um that will be my next um starting to build one of each class corvette style a destroyer cruiser etc for each of the classes anyway that's it for now as always keep playing the game and have fun